Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Calhoun, what is it that, that you get paid currently? Senator, that's uh, well disclosed in, in our proxy documents uh, in each of the years that I've been employed. Yeah, but what is it? That's a big number, sir. Well, let me help you out. It's $32.8 million this year. Does that sound right? Yes, it does. That's a 45% increase over last year. Does that sound right? Yes, it does. What is it you get paid to do exactly? I get paid to run the Boeing company. Yeah. So just help me understand that. I mean, do you get paid for transparency? Is that is that part of, is that one of the metrics for your I think the board counts on me for transparency. Really? Because you're under investigation for falsifying 787 inspection records. The Boeing's under criminal investigation for the Alaska Airlines flight. You were investigated by, GOD, by DOJ for criminal conspiracy to defraud the FAA. This is all in your tenure. This doesn't sound like a lot of transparency to me. Um, what about uh, safety? Is that a component of your salary? It sure is, Senator. You know, have you seen the reports that the subcontractor that you used to make that door piece that fell out of the sky, that when the FAA went and toured the facility, they found one door seal being lubricated with Dawn liquid dish soap and cleaned with a wet cheesecloth, and another was being checked with a hotel room key card. Does that sound like safety to you? Senator, I, I think our relationship with that particular supplier has been well documented, reviewed by the FAA, and most certainly us. And I'm very intent on acquiring that company so that none of that ever happens. Hmm. You know, the FAA also says that Boeing still has not implemented the recommended steps back from 2019 and 2020 after the MAX crashes. You, you, you still have not taken the appropriate safety procedures or implemented what they recommended. I mean, how if safety is a component of your $33 million compensation package, I mean, how, how can you possibly qualify for any of this? What, what about quality? Is quality part of your compensation package? Senator, I, uh, I meet with the FAA pretty regularly. Uh, they don't hold anything back, and I'm not aware of anything that has been cited with respect to those accidents. That we haven't uh, taken action on. Really? Because we've had whistleblowers. You said you'd listen to whistleblower testimony. We've had multiple whistleblowers come before this committee and allege that Boeing is cutting every possible corner on quality and safety, not just in the past, but now. They've alleged that you've eliminated safety inspections, that there are fewer in quality and there are fewer inspectors doing quality inspections out there. They've alleged that when they raised quality issues and concerns, they were reassigned, they were retaliated against, they were physically threatened. That doesn't sound like attention to quality to me. And yet you're getting paid $33 million a year. It's extraordinary. Uh, Senator, I... I we have increased our quality inspectors significantly. How much has your stock price increased while you've been at Boeing? It hasn't. And I don't watch it much. Have you done any stock buybacks while you've been at Boeing? Uh, not in my job, no. How about your profits? Have your profits increased at all? While you've I haven't been? had any profits, sir. I'm sorry? I have not had any profits. Yeah. You know, I, I think the truth is, Mr. Calhoun, you're not focused on safety. You're not focused on quality. You're not focused on transparency. All of this is in the record. But I think actually you're focused on exactly what you were hired to do, which is that you're cutting corners. You are eliminating safety procedures. You are sticking it to your employees. You are cutting back jobs because you're trying to squeeze every piece of profit you can out of this country, you're, this company. You're strip mining it. You're strip mining Boeing. It was one of the greatest American companies ever. It has employed thousands of people in my state. And you are strip mining it for profit, shareholder value, and you're being rewarded for it. You got a huge raise, a huge increase. So it's working out great for you. For the American people, they're in danger. For your workers, they're in peril. For your whistleblowers, they literally fear for their lives. But you're getting compensated like never before. Don't you think maybe your priorities are, are misplaced here? I mean, don't you think maybe it's time to get back to focusing on making quality planes and paying your workers well and taking care of the little guys who got you to where you are? That's not a rhetorical question. Senator, uh, I don't recognize 
any of the Boeing you described. Really? And I want to assure... You don't recognize the Boeing that has airplanes falling out of the sky? That has had two Maxes crash, that has had pieces of doors fall out of the sky, that have had whistleblowers come before they've sat right where you have sat and told us, these are your employees, who have told us that when they, these are the engineers, by the way, are you an engineer? I'm not. Yeah, they are. And they have said that they're not listened to, that they're retaliated against, that they're threatened. That's the reality of Boeing today. That's your company that you have created. Now, I don't recognize it either from the company it used to be decades ago, but under your leadership, that's what Boeing is, and you're being rewarded for it handsomely, handsomely. Don't you think there's something wrong with that? Why haven't you resigned? Senator, I I stand by what I said, and I want to assure the great employees in in your state that um, that is not the way we operate the company, and it never never will be. If you would like my chief engineer to talk about what he sees in No, I want to hear from you, because what I hear from you is a lot of this team does that, and that team does that, and I listen to the whistleblowers, but I don't meet with them, and I've heard about all this stuff that you, Congress, have have meddlesomely asked for, because the public wants to see it, gosh darn them, but you actually haven't supervised any of it. I've heard that. It's a lot of it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that, but meanwhile, you're getting paid a heck of a lot of money. It's unbelievable. If anybody's coming out of this deal good, it's you. Why haven't you resigned? Senator, I'm I'm sticking this through. I'm proud of having taken the job. I'm proud of our proud of this safety record, record and I am proud very of this proud record. of our Boeing people. You're proud very. of this safety record. I am proud of every action we have taken. Every action you've yes, taken. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. There's some news for you. Well, behind you, you can't see it. Behind you, the folks are are showing pictures of the people who are the victims of your safety record. I think we can all see it. And I think the American public, when they fear to get on their airplanes, they understand your safety record. And frankly, sir, I think it's a travesty that you're still in your job.